Uh, now going to another mode. Another yes. mode that I think people are curious about. Uh, and I've been waiting to talk about this. Oh, Kobe! I got silver Kobe. Froby. He's only a silver ass Froby. That's he's, funny. He's, uh, he's a 99 on dunks, though. <laughs> Um, yes, and of course you are referencing uh, Cruz, which we announced right here on the broadcast last week. Yep. Um, I've been waiting all week to talk about this because I thought we were pretty clear on stuff last week, but maybe we weren't enough, and so that's this, this is an opportunity to kind of talk about Cruz uh, once again. So so let's 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 talk about what's coming back. Um, you're gonna have the crew mode that fans have been asking for. Um, you know, the dev team has been trying to build this back in for uh, a few years now and uh, have finally been able to bring it back to where the fans have wanted it. That's the, the crew mode from NBA 2K11, which actually has some interesting little things that people didn't really talk about. If you notice the screenshots that we released last week, you could not customize the court like that in NBA 2K11 crew. Mm -hmm. You could in NBA 2K10 crew, so the devs brought that part of it back. So courts are going to be uh, awesome. customizable, as you saw in those screenshots. I was going with the purple and yellow. Of course, for Laker Nation out there, you know, I'm a Laker fan. I have to keep it real with purple and yellow. Um, but, you know, beyond, beyond the court stuff, you're going to be able to customize your jerseys. Uh, you have two options now, Ronnie. So once you build a crew, and at the time that we were talking about crews as well, it was a six-player maximum. K Spade was in talking to the dev team. He really, really wanted to see if they could push it to 10, and they were able to. So now you can have a 10-person crew. So you could actually run two games at once, just bit, depending on which, uh, you know, five players you're rolling with. So essentially you can have 10 players into a crew, and uh, I think that's pretty awesome news Ooh, Lance. Uh, because, like I said, you know, Spade was in here talking. He was really excited about the return of the NBA 2K11 crew. Uh, you're going to have the courts. You're going to have the jerseys. You're going to have 10 players in your crew. All you need to start a crew game this year is three players. So when you pick your crew or you have yeah, the... Yeah, so min three, max yeah. 10. Min three, uh, max five, but yeah. Uh, uh, max three. five for a game, but max ten to make a to, to make a to, crew. Have a to have a crew. Correct. So what you can do now uh, is when you are creating a crew, you have two things that you can select. You can select your team, including historic teams, and you can oh, select. Oh, the team don't player, don't gloss over that. That's oh, a big deal. Uh, that is a big deal. But I'll get to that in a minute. But you can have a team. So let's say I pick the Lakers, because again I'm a Laker fan, and uh, there's four of us online. And we don't pick the two spot. That means Kobe is going to be filled in by the That's AI because cool. he's the two. So you basically are able to choose which uh, you know players you want to have fill in uh, via the AI if you're not rolling with your full squad. But you just need at least three members of your crew to start the game. Uh, when you're in these games, they do take place in arenas, as we mentioned, four quarters, basketball simulation, referees, the whole nine yards. So. Really what brought people in, I think, to that, that crew mode of 2K11 uh, was the fact that it was so competitive and it really put you in the role of you know playing it as an NBA player under these NBA rules. Uh, the park brings a different dynamic to 21, uh, and you know it's that street ball style, but I, I think crew brought that NBA realism to the mode via your my players, and I think that attracted a lot of people back in the day. Yeah, being able to play your my player online and with your friends. Um, very, very neat stuff. Um, and I know a lot of people are excited about about its return. Um, ob the obvious question coming out of it, obviously, was what about next gen? What about next gen? Um, next gen, you know, we get what everybody loves about com uh, about crew. Chris just went through the list. I mean, there, there's, it's, it's five on five. It's playing with NBA rules. It's playing in an NBA arena. It's playing um, with the customization, it's having positions, it's having differentiation from one player to another. It's the NBA gameplay. It's not only just being able to. Um, it's not the street kind of feel. It's the NBA feel, right, Chris? Absolutely. Um, we understand that. We absolutely understand that. Uh, and we. It's something that's very important to us uh, going forward. Um, we started with the crew announcement last week for a reason, and we started with current gen because we definitely want the current gen people to feel like they're getting something from our game. That doesn't mean there's no reason that we wouldn't want the things that you guys like about crew in next in the next gen offering. It's just that we haven't got there in our PR schedule, and we don't. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. It's probably not going to happen until very close to launch, and the reason for that is because it's so dependent on other features in our game yeah so um you know 
it's obviously dependent on my player. So until we can't talk about Cruz until we t uh, talk about my player. We can't talk about next gen anything until we talk about my player. So there, there is a schedule to all of this, and it will come out. Um, you guys know our usual schedule. September we start hitting you heavily over the head with with features. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have some really cool um, things coming for you guys in August, obviously. And two things to that, you know, the devs could have focused completely on next gen, but they wanted to bring you this mode on last gen and bring the fans that. But they, there's... they want it. They want the good stuff on next gen too. Absolutely, and and that's the thing. You know, we we started with last gen, we started with Cruz, and uh, as it was in NBA 2K11, you know, there's a lot of people that are still on last gen that haven't converted over to next gen. So we wanted to make sure that we brought the fans what they wanted, as it was in NBA 2K11. And uh, for years, you know, the dev teams have been working towards that, and it's it's really exciting to see that. Now, for next gen, as, as Ronnie alluded to, uh, we're doing some really cool things. Uh, can't talk about certain things, but uh, I assure you that fans of Crew will uh, be very excited to what we have in store as we go down the line and as this news starts to uh, kind of trickle will, out. Will this thing be called Crew, Chris? No, it won't. Because th there's some things about Crew that I don't like. I, I was a huge Crew player in 2K11. Uh-oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh me. This thing will not be called Crew, because the the great thing about what Crew did, we want. But there's one thing that the Crew didn't do that we also want. And can I can I indulge you for a second, Chris? You can indulge the thousands. Uh, because I told you. Spade this last week. We need community, and what I mean by that is there's got to be a reason for us to not just play with our five, play with our five, but make it mean something. And that's super important for, for us. Like, it, it, it's, really, it, it's really important for, you know, me and you to have a reason to, to, to team together and go out, go out there and do something as a crew or, or what have you. So I will that's say, really important. I will say this. Get your best four. Get your best four. You're still gonna need them. Get your best five and start rounding them up now. You're still gonna need them. Get get them on. Get them on NBA 2K14. Start making the texts. Start making the phone calls. Start grabbing your buddies at work. You're still gonna need. You're gonna to want to start recruiting right now, and that's what we're telling you. So start recruiting right now, whether you're on last gen or on next gen. And as we start to get down in the news cycle, like I said, I think fans of Crew Mode are gonna like what we have in store for NBA 2K15. I think so too. So, with that said, what's your uh, favorite so song on the new soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> How do you segue? No. Uh, uh, yeah, but no, seriously, start recruiting, and uh, you know the dev team's listening to what makes those crew elements really, really great, and how we can harness those elements and really bring it to the next generation of NBA 2K.